In this segment, we're explaining the crush zone application. On your crush zone, sometimes you'll have parts that you may bend. You start out flat. And then you flip it around, you may have to put a bend on this side. Okay, on making that bend on that side, unfortunately, some operators have a tendency to hold it like so. And holding a part, you should always hold it underneath or on the outside edge. You never hold it like so. But because some operators do fail to uh, pay attention and they will hold it in a dangerous position, we have what's called the crush zone application. In this application, it can be set up to guard against anybody holding their thumb our fingers in like so. So if we keep going, it stops. And it lets you know it stopped right here. At that point, you can lift your foot up and press it again, and it will force on through. Make absolutely sure, whenever this system stops the press brake, always check and make sure that it's just the material in play, that you do not have fingers or digits or anything else in the bend zone area or the crush zone area. If we're bending apart, and it's just the part going up, you have certain amount of tolerance with the crush zone that will allow the part to go up in, but if anything more than the part, it will stop. And that's the whole point behind the crush zone. It is adjustable for certain heights. Uh, generally, we can get down as close, somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three inches from the bend zone, or the crush zone, all the way up to uh, ever how high you want it on the face of the ramp. You know, some people be doing this number. Very dangerous. Uh, this light right here, it shows you when the crush zone is interrupted. Okay? If you try to override it in high speed or any time before the slow speed, it will not allow you. Crush zone should only be in effect in the bend zone. So if you notice, I'm going to slide out to the side here just to show you. If you notice, once this light comes on solid, I interrupt it, it's going to stop the press and that's where it should. Now if I decide to and I think I need to, or I have to, I just lift my foot up, press it again, and it'll force right on through. But it's to make sure that nothing is in this area that should not be there. Also, in case I haven't mentioned, when it gets down to that point, and you lift your foot up and press it again, the flashing light indicates that it's overridden. Now, on certain bends, when you bring it back up after the bend, it may be flashing, the slow speed flash right here. <coughs> this just indicates that you interrupted it certain times, or several times in slow speed with the crush zone application. That is no big deal. All you have to do is press the pedal again. It'll reset it. Sometimes it'll jerk down just a little bit, 
no concern. Now it's ready to go again. It's basically just an internal test that is completing itself.